Welcome back to another video. Today we will be going over subnetting. What is subnetting? Subnetting is simply breaking the network up into smaller subnetworks, which overall helps the network by providing better performance and security. Why subnet? A good reason we should subnet is to preserve IP addresses because there isn't a lot anymore. Another reason is to better accommodate your network needs. For instance, you have 30 PCs in a network. Instead of giving them all addresses from different network addresses and having many unused addresses, we can modify our prefix to have close to enough or exactly enough addresses. IP address structure. All IP addresses, whether IPv4 or IPv6, consist of a network ID and host ID letting you identify what address and family an address belongs to and allowing you to identify a specific device on a network. Classless Interdomain Routing Classless Interdomain Routing is the act of adjusting or fine-tuning your address prefix to accommodate your network's needs. For example, CIDA lets you use a slash 9, slash 17, slash 25 prefix, and etc. Subnet masks. Subnet masks are very similar to prefixes. Subnet masks allows you the ability to know what bits are fixed and cannot change the network ID, and what bits are not fixed and can change the host ID. Binary notation. Binary notation is how PCs communicate and see IP addresses opposed to dotted decimal. Binary notation is in the format of ones and zeros. A binary place value chart is to go up under every octet in an address starting from 128 to one from left to right. If a bit is indicated with a one, you add its bit value. If a bit is indicated with zero, you skip its value. In depth analysis, we will expand on the first octet 172. Your binary place value chart goes 128, 64, 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, and 1. We will convert 172 for decimal to binary. 172 is greater than or equal to 128, so we place a 1, then subtract. We're left with 44. 44 is less than 64, so we place a 0 and skip to the next value. 44 is greater than or equal to 32, so we place a 1, then subtract. We're left with 12. 12 is less than 16, so we place a 0 and skip to the next value. 12 is greater than or equal to 8, so we place a 1, then subtract. We're left with 4. 4 is greater than or equal to 4, so we place a 1, then subtract. There's nothing left for 2 and 1, so we place a 0 for both. You repeat that process for the other three octets. Decimal notation. Decimal notation is how we see addresses. Dotted decimal is in the format of a 4 octet 32 bit address. We can convert a binary address back to dotted decimal. Wherever there is a 1, we add that value based on the binary place value chart. Wherever there is a 0, we skip that value. How to find. How to find the block size of an address, you simply look for the last bit in your network ID and that's the block size. How to find a network address, simply convert all host bits to zero. How to find a broadcast address, simply convert all host bits to one. How to find the usable address range, for first usable, simply add one to your network address. For the last usable, subtract one from your broadcast address. To find the number of subnets, the formula is two, raised to the number of network bits indicated by your prefix or subnet mass. To find the number of hosts, the formula is 2 raised to the number of host bits indicated by your prefix or subnet mass minus 2 for your network address and broadcast address. In this example, we will subnet 172.16.128.0 slash 17. 
The subnet mask is 255.255.128.0. The first two octets belongs to the network ID, which is 16 bits, 8 bits for each octet. We need one more bit, which means the bit we borrowed from the third octet is 128 as indicated by our place value chart. Cider notation slash 17 as indicated by the prefix. Block size is 128 as indicated in the graphic. We borrowed one bit from the third octet, which is the octet of duty, because that is where we will be working. And that bit is equal to 128, indicated in the place value chart beneath it, highlighted in orange. Network address is 172.16.128.0 slash 17. We got this answer because we set all host bits to zero as indicated in red, then converted. Broadcast address is 172.16.255.255 slash 17. We got this answer because we set all host bits to one as indicated in red, then converted. Usable address range is 172.16.128.1 through 172.16.255.254. We got this answer because we added one to our network address, then we subtracted one from our broadcast address. Number of subnets is 131,072. We got this answer because we used the formula 2 raised to the 17th which is the amount of network bits indicated by the prefix. Number of hosts is 32,766. We got this answer because we used the formula 2 raised to the 15, which is the number of host bits minus 2 for our network and broadcast address. Down below, I have a free subnet and cheat sheet that you can download and use along with some other products that I think will further enhance your understanding on this topic. Thank you.